And joining us now, you saw him there, now you see him here, is Lewis Brown, a director with the Christ Medicus Foundation, who met with President Trump today during that listening session. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me on. We're yeah. not that far from the White House. Was the walk okay? It was, it was great. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, you didn't have to walk in the snow. We saw what you said to the president. We didn't see his answer. What was the answer? I think generally he is ex very supportive of making sure that there are pro-life protections uh, in the American Health Care Act going forward and that in any event, whatever is passed uh, and signed into law that is uh, securing the Hyde Amendment and prohibiting the public funding of abortion, uh, both he, Vice President Pence, uh, and Dr. Price, the Secretary of HHS, who has a history as a pro-life physician, very supportive of that. But as Jason said, there is really concern about that pro-life language uh, in the House bill banning tax credits for health plans offering that abortion coverage. Um, they think that it's not going to make it through the Senate. What are your thoughts? I think there are many different ways of this occurring, and uh, the process is somewhat subjective uh, in the Senate and how those rules work out, how that law is interpreted. But I'm hoping that when it's all said and done, uh, this president is a deal maker. He knows how to make deals. Uh, and the right bill will be passed with strong pro-life protections with the Hyde Amendment in it. Now, this listening session was billed as being about health care. Right. You talked about abortion. Did anyone else talk about abortion? No, I think other folks talked about their experiences under the Affordable Care Act over the last uh, many years, about eight years, since excuse me, seven years since mm -hmm. it's been passed. Uh, increased cost, decreased options, all that. Everything that happened with the Affordable Care Act, it's not all negative, but so much of it was. And what I see in Secretary Price and President Trump, Vice President Pence, is an effort to say, we have to improve our American health care system, and we have to put the patient-doctor relationship at the center of it, not the government. And that's, that's a good thing. You referenced a startling statistic today. You said that 17 million African Americans have been aborted since Roe v. Wade came into law. Abortion has the greatest impact on minorities. What needs to happen to change those statistics? Sure. I think first we have to have a culture of life. And so whether that's in film, that's in entertainment, that's in music, we have to be celebrating life. But we also need to be doing that uh, at the federal and the state level. So here in Congress, when we have uh, laws that witness to the fact that uh, uh, that birth, uh, that life begins at conception Section. and goes till natural death, but then also we who are a people of life as Catholics witnessing to the fact that we must uh, have compassion and love and charity for uh, the person who uh, who is going through uh, issues with the criminal justice system, who is going through difficult mentally issues. Mentally ill. Sure, mentally mm -hmm. ill, going through difficult issues on immigration. That constant witness to life uh, at all times, that's the most important thing I think we can do. Louis Brown, thank you so much. Always a pleasure thank to you. have you. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Thank you.